Welcome. This is the uh, Tennessee Algebra 1 end of course practice test 2 they just put out. Question number 50. The question says the table below shows the scan speed of an antivirus software. And if my voice goes in and out, I apologize. It's about to go out fully, but we'll see how long this goes. The uh, antivirus scan speed, it looks at used hard drive space at 46, 92, 138, and 184 megs. And the time, it takes two seconds, four seconds, and so forth. Um, that's a pretty long Anyway, if the software continues to scan at the same rate, how long does it take to scan the used hard drive space of 437 megabytes? Now, the first thing that we need to do is look at what kind of relationship the numbers have. So I'm going to figure out what the differences are. Obviously, this side's going up by 2 every time, and that might come in handy. On the other side, it's going up by 46. And I did this by subtracting 92 from 46, and if you do 138, minus 92 you'll get 46 and if you do 184 minus uh, 138 you'll get 46 so what you could do I mean in theory is just keep adding 46 every time so I did 184 plus 46 and I get 230 and that of course would be at 10 and then I add 46 more and I get 276 and that of course would be at 12 I add 46 more and I get 322 and that's like 14 Add 46 again, and uh, that would be at 16. Add 46. At 18. Add 46. At 20. So it's somewhere between 18 and 20, most likely, that we're going to find the information. So really, the only choice at this point for number 50 would be A, right here. Because it's not 437 is not quite up to um, 460 like it would need to be for it to be 20 whole seconds. So the answer is A. That's one way to do it. Another thing you could do is actually look at the information. If you're wondering why there's a glitch in the video, it's because the video dropped out. I had to restart. But anyway, um, yeah, another thing that you could do is look at it in terms of it being a linear regression. I could tell that it's a linear regression because this number, or I could tell that it's linear, the relationship, which means a line. Because these are all 2, and these are all 46. If I only have to do one difference, or I only have to look at the differences one time to find a s consistent pattern, I know it's linear. Like if there were, there were a big difference here, I'd have to find the difference again. Each one you go out kind of does x to the first power, x to the second power, that kind of thing. So in this case, because they're all the same difference on the right and all the same difference on the left, I could say the relationship is linear. Now, in order to do linear regression, I need to open the calculator and make a table. So I'm going to delete this out just a little bit so it's a little bit clear. I'm going to go into the stat section, edit out a list. I've already punched mine in because there's nothing more boring than watching people do that. So I'm going to quit out. Go back into the stat menu, go to calc, down to linreg, which is linear regression, hit enter, and then hit enter again, and it'll actually do the regression for me. Now the regression makes a nice straight line based on the data, which we know it should. Now I can just plug in the values that I'm given, and I can find the answer that I want. It says if y equals ax plus b, which is TI's version of MX plus B, I assume. Um, this means that if I plug in an X value, and my X's were my first group, so that would be my independent variable of hard drive space, then I need to multiply it by a slope, essentially, of 0 0.04348260.9, and it probably goes on, but it's, they cut it off there, times X plus 0. And in this case, my x value, of course, would be the uh, 437. I'm going to try to move the calculator so you can see it. So there's the 437 that I need to put in. I'm going to take this and put it right here. So 437, that way you can see where I got the information. Now, I just go over and type uh, 0 0.04. Three, four, seven, eight, two, six, zero, oh, nine. Parentheses, four, thirty-seven, plus zero. Even though you don't really need to do plus zero, hit enter, and it gives you a final answer of it should take somewhere 
in the range of about 19.0 and a lot of zeros in a one seconds to do it, which matches exactly with what we said it should have been. So our answer of 19 was just fine. So that's all you need to do. You can do the linear regression. You can just extend the table out if you're comfortable doing that. And, you know, shouldn't be a big deal. So good luck.